Yeah, so bullying, and it says here, a student is re exposed repeatedly and over time to negative actions. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be at school, can happen anywhere, but we know bullying is rampant and has been for some time. So types of bullying that we have are the um, verbal, name calling, threatening comments, the physical, hitting, kicking, tripping, social, excluding, starting rumors, ostracizing, and of course now cyberbullying going on, um, not only with children, but with adults. And up to 70% of middle and high school kids report having experienced bullying. Um, five to 15% are dealing with ongoing bullying. Um, and then seven to 12% of children chronically bully uh, others. So this is a huge amount of people on our society. And that's one of the things that we, you really want to get your kids to understand is it's not just you. This is happening to lots of people. Because when we think it's just us, it's not helpful. So signs of your child being bully, withdrawal and moodiness, a change in appetite. We know some eating disorders can uh, develop over time with a lot of bullying, uh, headaches, stomach aches, psychosomatic complaints, not wanting to go to school. Of course, any physical signs, torn clothing, uh, bruises, cuts, and then it can lead to depression, anxiety, and suicidal ideation. So one of the questions that you need to ask are what are the conditions that are allowing for this bullying to uh, occur? And for schools to be creating a culture of kindness is very important. Unfortunately, in the research, what you see is that a lot of the anti-bullying programs that were developed were not successful. I wish I could say they were, but in fact, they gave kids ideas about what they could do to get around things sometimes. Um, so instead, what they're bringing in are mindfulness programs to schools, because mind, in mindfulness, we are going to teach compassion for other people. Um, but your involvement as an adult is critical. Um, and that we need to be reporting bullying. It's not acceptable behavior. So with mindfulness, what we're doing, and of course this is gonna be different stages um, at, of how you teach this at different level, uh, for different ages, is that we are not our thoughts, that we can choose where our thoughts go and we can focus on playing this game or watching this movie, but we will have thoughts sometimes, everyone does, that we didn't choose, an anxious thought, a sad thought, whatever, a thought that we didn't choose. So what we're teaching in mindfulness, and um, I've done some classes before with families and will continue to do so hopefully, is to help kids understand they can separate from their thoughts. They can notice, oh, there's a, you know, a Robert bully thought or whatever, Robert bullying thought and just separate it, becoming less reactive and let go of our negative thoughts. And of course, over time, slow deep breathing can be something that we use to activate our parasympathetic nervous systems. And also there's some suggestion that this helps with seizure control. So when we do deep diaphragmatic breathing, we are going to really take big belly breaths. And this is a way to engage your system of rest and digest. Teaching them and doing them with your child, uh, three to six of them will immediately make you relax, lower blood pressure, facilitate digestion, um, it, it's a very positive thing, just long, slow, deep breathing. And this counters the fight, flight, freeze that happens when we're threatened. And we're threatened when we're bullied, right? So it's a way to engage your opposite nervous system. Go ahead. 
Um, so we also want to teach our children and we ourselves want to react to the bully in a firm but a non-aggressive way. If we act back in an aggressive way, we're just modeling that bullying is okay. It's not okay. They need to see from our behavior that we care about them as a human being, we respect them, but that this behavior is unacceptable. So we're really, really, um, you know, approaching it in a kind way and paradoxically. Um, we also want to learn how to bring ourselves and have our children learn to bring themselves loving kindness and compassion when they're hurting. And I'm going to show you how to do that through this, these exercises coming up. So um, why kids might bully? Originally, they did think bullying can hit hurt people hurt others. And frankly, I still believe that. But some of the research shows that these kids have over-exaggerated sense of their importance. Um, they just, but I often think that's compensating for not feeling particularly great underneath. They've seen it modeled on television, unfortunately, regularly, right in the movies or whatever they've watched. They've seen other kids bully at school. They're wanting to be part of a, a group where they're cool. Um, so they, there are all sorts of reasons that kids bully, but helping your child understand and I used often with my son, hurt people hurt other people. We all, when we're upset or don't feel good about ourselves, can strike out at times. Or when we don't understand something and we're confused, we can say things that are inappropriate. So to help them understand that this is an experience where this person actually needs your help. That sounds really wild to think about, um, but this person needs your help. When you say that to your child, it helps them understand that they have agency in their lives, that, they do, that they're not a victim, that this person needs to under, learn loving kindness from you, or it's an opportunity for you to learn to set very strong, clear boundaries. And that's a good learning experience because even as grownups, we need to have strong, clear boundaries. So you're again, giving this sense of agency that the child has power. Yes, go ahead. Thank you, Julia. And at, at a certain age, when the child is beginning to go to school, to begin to prepare your child in advance, to let the child know this happens to lots of kids, not just you. It happens to lots of kids that for no reason at all, they're just somebody decides they don't like them or whatever, and that they can say some very unkind things. And when people say unkind things to others, it is not okay. And you can even role play with your child on this, um, you know, where your child maybe says something unkind to you and you show how you model that for them of, you know, it's not all right to speak that way. That's not kind. Um, and just being very strong and leaving, right? Or moving on and reporting it to someone, reporting it to authority. But again, this kind of role playing and pre preparing them so this doesn't blindside them is really a good thing to do. And then reminding when you see your child do that, wow, that was strong and brave. So deep breathing. I want you to understand how important this is. So let's just do some right now really quickly. What I'm gonna invite you to do is breathe in through your nose for the count of three, hold for two, out of your mouth for the count of five or six. Ready? Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold, exhale, 
Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. And if your child cannot do it that long, just however a deep, long breath you can do. But are you noticing right now that you are more relaxed? This should be a quick, quick hit of relaxation. You have engaged the parasympathetic nervous system on the vagus nerve on your spine, which counters our fight, flight, freeze reaction when we are threatened and you can do these long slow deep breaths as often as you want throughout the day and over time it actually resets your energetic systems where you're just more calm and there's so there's no downside to doing it Julia, can you advance to the next slide? Thank you. Another thing that you can do with your child is to help them remember a safe nurturing moment. This also activates your parasympathetic system. So when we are threatened, we get very caught and it feels like our world narrows and it's almost like we're looking through a straw and we can't see anything else but the threat. And what you want to do is help them open up to remember not, not all the world is so cruel. There are kind, loving moments too. So you can help them by saying to them, remember a time that you were with your pet or that you were with grandma or grandpa or with your friend Sally or you were at this beach and you were so happy and have them visualize it as beautifully as they can in their minds. Seeing the colors, the shapes, the faces, what the smells, whatever was involved. And then notice how their body feels. It will actually help you relax immediately and to remember that there are these loving kind people in my life too. Julia, thank you. Really, really important with bullying is helping your child connect with others so that they feel like they fit in somewhere. And it can be in formal play groups that you create, sports teams, you know, art music groups, scouting, anything that your child is interested in. It could be a roller skating group or you know, just anything that they come over, a group of kids comes over to your house in colors together, but that they feel they have some connection with peers is super important where they are accepted. Julia? And also we want to learn how to take care of ourselves. And I can't tell you, stress this enough, Adults, even as adults, we speak to our others, each ourselves harshly. We all have these inner critics that are saying things to us that we would never say to another human being. And part of what we're learning to do in, in mindfulness is to notice, oh, I just called myself stupid or whatever I called myself, right? No. No, I don't need to speak to myself that way. That's not kind. I need to speak to myself as I would a friend. So moving forward, Julia. And we also want to give ourselves physical comfort. So self-soothing is important for all of us, even grownups. Um, when we are stressed, going to take a warm bath or shower, asking for a hug or hugging ourselves, uh, putting your hand on your heart. I did that this morning. I was stressed and I just put my hand on my heart and gave myself some you know, kindness for just a moment of soothing myself. That physical touch can just remind us, oh yeah, I can be here for myself, even when there's a lot going on. Cuddling with a pet, curling up with a favorite blanket, 
walking in nature we know is hugely restorative for human beings. So just being out with beauty and really enjoying it. Julia? So I mentioned speaking to ourselves more kindly. It's also more realistic. So we can learn to say things to ourselves, either visualizing like our parents saying this to us, someone who loves us saying this to us, or the part of us for older kids, they get this idea that is really whole and healthy and wise and inner wisdom that I can speak to the part of me that's hurting right now. Um, or some people even use a religious figure as saying this to me. Um, and we say things, so close your eyes, put your hand on your heart if it feels right for you. And I am going to invite you to repeat these lines to yourself silently as I say them. What you're dealing with hurts. It would hurt anyone. I'm here for you. I will not leave you. You are perfectly imperfect, just like everyone else. Our imperfections are gifts to help us learn and grow. You're doing the best you can, and that's all anyone can do. You are here to share your unique gifts with others. Many people love and support you. Hurt people hurt others, they need help. You're not alone. Millions of children on earth also feel sad because they're being bullied. How we look is not as important as how we treat people. No matter our appearance, someone will always find us beautiful. This too will pass, everything does. So notice how it feels when you say these kinds of words to yourself. And some may work for you more than others. And you pick phrases that work for you and your child to learn how to literally soothe yourself. Again, physically and emotionally, we're bringing loving kindness to ourselves, learning to be our own best friends. Julia? So any questions with what I have talked about today? It's a lot to take in. <laughs>